Hey <laughs> guys, didn't know it was running. I'm tired. We just got back from uh, the lake, and guys are gonna see some parts I put together. And we got there, and the wind was blowing a little bit. And by the time we left, it was blowing 100 miles an hour. I think anyway. I'm for plum tuckered out from all that wind. So I'm going to put uh, some of this film together and hopefully you guys will like what we did. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Okay, you guys, here we are at Lake Manitou. It's one of the local lakes around this area. I'll just kind of be the dude behind the camera. <laughs> I'm sure Bryce won't mind if I say that. Hey, look at here, a cool little place. Can you guys see in here? Oh, wow. A little picnic table and whatnot. Oh, kind of cool in here, guys. Dogs seem to like it in here. There, like, oh, there's, there's my car. <laughs> Come on, Angus. <laughs> he doesn't like that leash, does he? No. Okay, here we go out. Look, there's the water. Yeah. Looks like they have a little beach out there. I've never been on this side of the lake before. Oh wow! Look at all that old driftwood just out there. Cool or what? I don't understand why there's nobody out here. It's a warm enough day. down there walking on the beach. There's a kid down there walking on the beach. There's another dog walking on the beach. Let's see if we can get down there somehow. I'm in. Whoa. Good thing it's sandy. That could have been a bad one. Kind of windy out here. That's kind of cool. Looks like this is a beach area. They have a Booy out there. That's a pretty good sized lake. This is the bigger one around my area. There, kind of cool looking stuff. Hey, Jakey! He not like the We'll let him off of it for a little while. See what happens. Hold on, Jake, or Angus. There you go. Be good. Be good. Come on. Go. Come on. There you go. Stay here. Oh, wow. Screw up, Angus. You're going back on it. Yeah. Make sure you don't mess up. Kid will put you on restriction. Jake, that goes for you too. I see you going over there. Wow. I wonder what kind of trees these are. Look like uh, birch maybe. That should be a cool little place to come. 
build a fire right in there. You gotta be careful. A teenager is looking around pretty good, huh? Hey, Angus. Oh, I'm out of shape. This is the swimming area, and there's nobody out here swimming. Up. Huh. I don't even see any boats out there. A pretty cool little beach. I bet when it gets a hundred, they'll be out here. A yeah, pretty nice little beach. Well, I guess we'll drive to the other side, see what's going on. You want to just stay here? Oh, there's people over there? In case you didn't get noticed, my kid kind of likes to not be around people. <laughs> Takes after the old man. Da, 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 da. I see Jakey's out of shape too. His tongue's already hanging out. Come here, hey! You like that water? No, he didn't. You didn't like that water? ago during the war. You can walk in front of the camera. in the picture but this right here is an old bunkhouse that they have turned it into a, uh, a place to hide in the hot summer days for the swimmers and stuff. Weighted down. <sighs> anyway I'll see if I can get this thing turned around while I'm on record. It won't do it while I'm on record, so I'll just turn around like this. There, you guys can see back that way. Yeah. That's the good old outhouse. That way over there is a pavilion so you can barbecue and whatnot out here. And, uh, uh see the boys. Two dog boys in the human boy <laughs> down on the beach. Can you see him down there? So, I'm going to turn this off and I'll pick you guys up in a little bit when I get out of this wind. Later. There we go. Kids are out there on the water.
He's trying to get that youngest dog to uh, get accustomed to being in the water. The other one's been in the water several times. He got himself a ball. Set and sell, huh? Hey, Angie! Hi, Ang Angus! Hi, buddy! Oh, yeah! Hi, Angus! Woohoo! Here he comes! What's your thing, Dustin? There he goes! You were thinking, not thinking too good there. There you go. <laughs> Is it cold? Yeah, I can't feel anything for a little way. No. <laughs> you see what you did, Angus? You made him go swimming. No, stay down. <laughs> Is it cold? Yes, very. Maybe that's why nobody's down here swimming. Come on, Jake. No, stay down. Jake, come here. Come on, Jake. Come on, Jake. Come on, Jakey. Come on, Jakey. Your turn. Your turn. Yo, guy, where are we going? Stay. Stay. You stay in there. Hey, Jake, you stay. Stay, Jake. He says, I'm not wanting to stay in here. Stay in there, Jake. Good boy. Stay down, Angus. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Hope you're getting him because he's not staying in here any longer. All right, let him out. Get let him do some swimming, it'll be good for him. Jump. Come on! Uh. Come on, good boy! There you go. Woohoo! Good boy! That's good exercise for you. I don't like it. That's good exercise for you, yeah! <sighs> Now we know why nobody down here is swimming, huh? Yeah, have you put your foot in the water? Nope. I got yeah. my shoes on. I'm feeling the water from the dogs good enough for me. <laughs> hey, Bubba. Get your ball. You got your ball? <laughs> Good job. Good job, boys. Good job. Stay down. That's what made me bleed before, them sharp little claws of yours. You should have had Mom clip them while she was here. Yeah. What do you think, Angus? That water cold? Good job, boys. Good job. Stay down. What do you think, kid? Cold. Well, it must not be too cold. You're sitting in it. Well, my butt was already in it when I had to go get it. <laughs> I'm 
Probably the weather hasn't been warm enough for it to warm up the water yet. Well, I'm going to walk out there. You gonna go with him, Jake? Come on, Jakey. Come on, come on. Go with him. Go with him. There he goes. You coming out, Jake? Jacob. Bring me your ball. <laughs> he says no. Yeah. Give it to me. <laughs> you let me have it? Huh? <laughs> get it! Go get it, Jake! Go get it! Go get it, Jakey! Get it! Get it, Jake! Get it! Get it, Jake! Get it! Good boy! <laughs> Good job! Good job! A little bit out of shape. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> Want it? Want it? Go get it. Go get it. <laughs> yeah, good boy. <laughs> get it. Get it. Go get it. I get it. Justin's going to get it. I got it. Get it, Jake. Get it, Jake. Uh oh. Good job. Yes, that thing was not meant to go in the water. Good job. Trying to figure out where to put you guys so you can watch me build the fire. <sighs> Let's see if this works. Hope you guys can see this. Trying to, to be out of the wind. It's kind of tough. 
get it over here. I know you guys can see it there. Okay. And some more of this off the fat wood. Then we'll try to use that monster thing. Trying to get some feather off of here. <clears throat> it's coming. <sighs> Trying to get some of it put together here. See that? Okay, let's get this beast out. See if I can get it to go. I don't know. <sighs> it's hard when it's windy as fuck. Sorry, guys. <sighs> My knees in the sand. Try to make it so you guys can see it too, this bitch. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Got it. I got it. Fire. I got fire. Yeah. I need more wood now. Right, Hurry up.
phone don't catch on fire, you guys. Didn't take much of that fat, but we did it. Hurry up! I just had a little fat wood, that's all it takes. Good. Oh. Feral rod. Oh. A little pile of stuff about that much. Yeah. Oh. Took right off. You put some leaves in there too? No. Just fat wood. Oh, cool. Angus, stay with us. You too, Jake. Come here. Angus. Angus. Yeah, well, that's good enough, guys. Uh, looks like. No, no, no get out of there. <laughs> He's using Jake to dry off. Did you see it? Yeah. That's why my phone's right there. I don't see it. Oh, I see it. Ah, oh, it went out. Well, you guys, you got to see the fat would take off with the monster ferro rod. Okay, you guys, we're just going to vlog on the way back to town. The radio is playing, so uh, I don't want to copyright. I'm just telling you that the music is not mine. Okay, too windy out here today, so we're just going to go ahead and head back to town. Kind of shoot the shit with you guys on the way, so. It really got to go on blowing too hard out here, so we just bagged it. We're on the wrong side of the lake for it to be blowing like that. So I don't have enough gas to go all the way to the other side and mess around. And I should have filled up before we took off, but I didn't, so it's the way it is. Say hi, Dustin. Hello. Okay. Anyway, the big part is done. We got to try out the ferro rod. It worked well, I just couldn't see it. Yeah, I didn't have the camera. It was just laying on the ground, so all you could really see is the sparkies and uh, the flame after it took off. We'll get better as time goes by. Hopefully the wind will cooperate better next time. So we're just going to head back to town and shoot the crap with you guys on the way dogs got wore out so they're kind of taking a siesta finally they ran their butts off I can tell you that for sure and Dustin took them out in the water the one he's been in the water before oh, she left this toy there which one the ring oh we gotta go back for that Remember, well, he'd stop to take the bra out of his foot yeah yeah okay we're gonna go back dog left one of their toys there can't be leaving the toys behind. Those dogs will be looking all over the house for them. Most of them anyway. <laughs> so we're going to go back and get the toy and then we'll head back towards town. I sure wish the weather had cooperated a little better by not letting the wind blow. Darn it. If it hadn't been blowing so bad, we could have probably tried to set the tent up, but it's blowing so hard out there, I was afraid the tent was going to end up in the lake. We'll turn this radio down. I don't want any strikes, so... We got people down here trying to fight the wind, so... In the cold water. Dustin will jump out and get the ring, and then we'll be off on our way again. We spent a good hour or so down here and we were trying to see if the uh, wind would subside but all it did was get worse so we all just right. bagged it. Jump out Dustin and get it. Stay here Jake. I see it. He's gonna get your toy. <sighs> what you 
tengok kan? Hehehehe Look what he got! Uh, you left your toy! Take it! Okay, get over. Let him in. Okay. Alright, now we can leave. Dang dog got a burr in his foot. The dog so left the toy. Dropped the toy to get the burr out and then he just left it sitting there. Not the brightest dog. The other one, I think the other one, he's in the back seat. I think he's dead. Yeah, he's laying down. Not even in the seat. So what are you guys doing in your part of the world today? It's a nice day here. It's just the wind's blowing a gazillion miles an hour. It wasn't blowing this bad when we got here, but man, it's blowing pretty good now. The next time we come out, well, hopefully the wind will just cooperate. We'll try to show you guys how to build a fire that you can watch and put that darn Tent together. So what I was saying before we took off back out there was we got one dog that could swim and likes water somewhat and another dog that looked at it and turned around and ran the other way. <laughs> He's not quite sure how to take that water. Dustin blew the raft up. You guys saw that, and he was trying to get the dogs to go out there in it so that they could get acclimated to the water. I've never been to this side of the lake before, so you guys and me, we all got a, a treat. We got to see a new part of the lake. I guess I'm going to have to keep saying it, but I'm going to have to get my license. It said somewhere that I could get one for $5, and then when I went and talked to them, they wanted me to give them $69, and I turned around and left. I didn't want to pay $69. Now, I know that's cheap for some of you guys, but <coughs> when you get old like me, you want to get as much stuff at a low price as you can. Sorry about yesterday. The darn camera would cooperate. Then after we ended the session, I got to looking at the settings on my phone and boom, I don't even know what I did. It just went sideways. <laughs> Go figure.
think his mom got her high school diploma at home. I'm not sure GED type of thing. But he's broke the mold. He's going to start. His kids will probably go to college. Hopefully, cross your fingers. What is it you're going to take at college? Uh, computer programming science. Computer science, I guess. Computer science the first year, and then uh, some sort of programming the second year he goes. So I think he wants to be one of those game guys, not a regular guy. I'm not sure. What do you want to do, Desto? Uh, program. He wants to program, he says. He's got an uncle or a cousin that works cousin. at Microsoft. He's just now getting a high, high clearance, security clearance there. He's got some top secret stuff. Top secret stuff. So, he gets all his college done and maybe a year or so of work experience. He'll probably work his way back over to the West Coast and have his uncle or cousin get him a job at Microsoft. And he'll be set up for life. Make it the Buku Buckos. How about you guys? What are your family's plans? Your kids? What are your kids' goals? Man, I wore myself out. Uh, go down a hill to get to the lake. Now I had to go up. Man, that kind of took it out of me. Up that hill four or five times. When you got COPD, it really messes with you. Better turn this AC up a little bit. Oh, that feels so good. of them, but I've punched a lot of them around here. Punching them means drill. Back in the day, did a lot of oil drilling up in this country right here where we're at today. Uh, I heard the great president that we have right now gonna let them drill for oil on the national parks around the country. I don't think that's right. I think we should save those national parks so that our kids and our kids' kids have something to look at, visit. Well, leave it to the president. don't care, you know, rich people that got money, they don't care. That's what I don't get is, you can, when you're rich like that, how come you gotta be richer? I mean, what can, what else do you need by the time you get that rich? I mean, he's so rich now that his kids will be rich all their life, you know? Why would he want to go around and tear up the gosh darn parts? What's your feeling on it? Uh, on the orange Cheeto? I don't like them. <laughs> well, one thing for sure, he says you don't like orange Cheetos. No, I like Cheetos. I don't like the president. Oh, he don't like the president. I see. That's Same good. color as the Cheeto. <laughs> 
He's using the uh, what's that called? Acronym? Analogy. Well, actually, to be honest, I don't know. It's just what one of my teachers calls him. Uh, it says one of his teachers calls him a orange Cheeto. Coming up on the big town of Minotaur. Don't blink, you'll miss it. I didn't know it was a tower. Yeah, see the uh, water tower? Wow. It's one of those towns that if you blink, you're going to miss it. We're about 8 miles or 11 miles from our hometown. Well, not our hometown, but where we live. Our hometown is Washington State, so... We came here so that we could live without uh, going broke. But the way things are going with uh, Mr. Cheeto Head, he's making it tough for you to live anywhere. He doesn't care because he's got what he needs. Okay, we're to the main highway, so why don't you guys leave some comments down below on everything we've been uh, vlogging about right here and see what you guys think. Tell me about uh, what some of your children's goals are when they get out of high school. So, till next time, thanks for uh, listening to me ramble and uh, helping us down at the lake. So you guys know what I know, right? Because I can't be doing this without you guys. That I love you guys and that it's God bless you, God bless me, and God bless the USA. Till next time, guys. Thanks.